I don't really believe in trap games. It's a hard place to play. You have to fly into a place. You have to drive 45 minutes to the stadium. So it is tough. But, you know, it, it's a college football game, and we have to get ourselves up and, and get ready to play. Never really a lot of fans in the stadium, but you can't let that affect your play because the game still has to be played. You know, every year we, we've tried to do something a little different for the Classic just because it is a, a big game, it's a robbery game, whether it's a helmet or a uniform. And I just decided with this team this year, these guys have worked so hard, let's just do both. Just like a little kid on Christmas, like we just, we just couldn't control ourselves. It was just beautiful, like we, we getting rewarded for what we've been doing the whole season. Bethune-Cookman finished the season 9-2 overall. Unfortunately, the Wildcats were not chosen to advance to the FCS playoffs. And we're excited. What's going to happen? Are we going to go to the bowl game? Are we going to the playoffs? We knew we were going somewhere. We just could not wait to hear the announcements. Getting up Sunday morning, the guys were excited. We went into the uh, breakfast hall, ate breakfast, and waited for the, the playoff brackets to show. And they showed, and they excluded Bethune-Cookman. It was a hush over the room. They, they, they slept on us. It could have been a lot of reasons, you know, who knows. But I just feel like, you know, A&T beat us, Central beat them, we beat Central. You know, it, it, I don't know how it got so crystal clear that A&T was to go to the bowl game even. I think I put up on social media, you know, to look into the eyes of disappointment is hard to do. And it was. You know what I mean? When you found out that you couldn't go and you're looking into these guys that you were so happy, you know what I mean, the day before, hugging and, you know, dabbing and doing all that other stuff, you know what I mean? And then the next morning, you know, you can't, uh, you know, you, you know you're not playing anymore. So, you know, it's just a, just a bad deal, you know what I mean? It was, it's disappointing. When, when you look at what the selection committee looks at and, and you know, you, you have a Division II team on your schedule, you don't get any points for playing a Division II team. If we had played another FCS school and won, we, we would have gotten four points, we would have been going to the Celebration Bowl because we would have actually been ranked higher than a &T. So there are a lot of different variables that, go, that will go into that. Not going to really get into it. Not happy that we're not playing, but you can't put your fate in other people's hands. A vision came to life in 1924 with the birth of the first ever Bethune-Cookman football team. Since then, coaches have come, then coaches have gone, championships won and championships lost. However, since 2010, Bethune-Cookman University has become more than just another football team. Unbelievable 
feeling, unbelievable atmosphere, unbelievable fans. I had an opportunity to go to other schools, uh, but I came here because I knew this is a championship caliber university in every aspect. Take that! Y'all say move! Take that! Move! Take that! Move! Take that! Move!